And what's good people, we are back in Club Padel. We're about to train with Rob and Mike. Probably have not seen these people on the channel, who knows? Might see them again, might not. Depends how me and Nick go film for them right now. If it's good, we might see more. If not, whatever man. We're just trying to make as many connects as possible, try to help people out. Like obviously, like you know, I want to help Rob out as much as possible, fellow Irish guy out here. So we're going to try to help them make as much sick content as possible in return. Maybe a few doors open, maybe we get to do some other cool shit, so yeah. I think they're training a leg day, which I just did yesterday, and plus, sneak peek, this is what happened yesterday, we kind of party a little bit, a little send. You know I don't drink that often anymore, but I had to. Look, the opportunity was there and I kind of had to, it was fun. So, roll the clip of that. Um, so I don't know how this happens, but... Alright, I feel the bubble, I feel the bubble. You point the bubble there. Woo! Point it upwards. Make yourself a nice opening like this. Yeah. I can't feel the bubble. <laughs> I can't feel the bubble. <laughs> That's what she said. I'm a win on this one. I'm a win on this one. That's this is the only thing I know. You do it. You do it. He's gonna fight you. Oh, you gotta take a hold of it. Cool. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Who did it first? You did it first. We'll just build some up. Ah. Ah, let's go. King's back, baby. The let's king is go. back. We're back on it. <laughs> yeah, but it's more nicotine. And now we're back in present time, hungover, and about to record for Mike Person and Rob fucking Lipson, man. You know, you know, I've been a fan of. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna fan girl. I'm gonna be all cool on camera. I'll be like. Yeah, what's up? But low key, I've been a fan of like Mike Person for like the longest time. Like I watched like a lot of his videos. So yeah, guys, let's get the session. So gonna get a sneaky little pump in because I actually feel embarrassed being around these two. Like my physique is nothing compared to Mike's or Rob. So let's get a sneaky little pump so we show up ready. Easy, come on. Up. Very <laughs> mistake. Back, back, still in one piece. <laughs> <laughs> you just get it from that deadlift, you yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Didn't hurt a bit. Hold <laughs> uh. the squeeze, hold the squeeze. Uh. Come on. Uh. What's good guys, so in the last clip you did see us work out with Rob and Mike and what I told you was, who knows, this might open up some doors. What did it do? Swung the door right open into Uncle Mike's gaff and we're gonna be filming a day in the life with him. We're gonna be basically helping him out getting a few clips and yeah, we're gonna go through Mike's day. I don't know what he does, so probably gonna title this like 24 hours with Mike Harrison, but I'm curious, what does the guy get up to? What's his plan in Puerto Banus? How's he gonna enjoy it? Cause we've been, we live in that broke boy lifestyle. We don't really do the shit that like those top tier influencers can do. Like, you know what I mean? We eat out of McDonald's, they eat out of Nobu. That's just how it goes. But we're just gonna explore, see what he does, gonna follow his routine, help him film. And that's pretty much it. Who know, I, I literally myself, I have zero expectation. I don't know where this is gonna take us. Let's just get to stay started, go to Mike's place. Okay, so this is the spot, it's called Rose's Cafe. It's very pink and flowery and feminine, but uh, they do a pretty mean breakfast, so that's all that really matters at the end of the day. Yo guys, so what's up? Today we're filming with Uncle Mike. Uh, yes, yes. Mike gets up to on a daily basis in Puerto Banus. <laughs> See what... This is gonna be a, a sensible vision. Yeah, this is gonna be uh, non-censored. It's gonna be the raw, we're gonna show everything. Okay, it's gonna leak yeah. all of Mike's. Like, you know, <laughs> dirty stuff, whatever he gets up to. All the best, Jeff. All the best, Jeff. Yeah. Yeah.
mate, my chest nearly fell off. How Uncle Mike pushes weight like that, I don't understand. He's talking to a And I just met a Lithuanian guy, shout out to you, man. I don't know how, but we actually, of course, Mike, everyone knows Mike. Someone knew us, man. Someone knew the shitty little channel that we have. Come on, let's We're go. We're getting famous now, let's get it. Maybe not slow down with the famous, <laughs> but like, it's cool to see people, man. And I'm actually gonna hang out with you, man, and I wanna train. Uh, basically, we just ran down to the shop to get carved up. I told you before, sweets every day, man, while cutting, let's go. Uh, we just wrapped up filming for Mike. We're gonna be back with him later on, I think. Some more cool shit happening, but we're gonna carve up a little. And just hit another session because we're just feeling lively today and that wasn't like a full proper session so just gonna carb up a little bit hydrate and get back in there man <laughs> how's it going man yeah. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> hey boys we're gonna get smashed now very fresh. Yeah, my antics are always the best antics. I've already bumped into Killen down the road who said we're going straight to News Cafe. There he is, eh? Oh, beautiful! Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> I love my bear! Department, all prepared, fresh as a Louis. Look at that! <laughs> you buzzing. You buzzing. Absolutely. You buzzing. Here we go. Oh! Like. Just to ruin Mike's recovery on wood. Everyone's gonna have to have a swing. Oh, you're just gonna pour it in my mouth? Push it down. Guns up. I'm gonna get out of this. Is that a real sandwich or is that a cartoon oh, that's picture? A, that's a photo of it. That's not a No, that's a real sandwich. Oh, okay. Is it a cartoon or is it real? It's so squashed up against yeah. the... What, what are the macros looking like? 250 grams of protein. And what's up, people? I'm jumping in right now with absolutely zero context. I know, I know. I'm sorry, but I could not film that much because obviously I was filming for Uncle Mike and uh, yeah, this is the end of the video. It was an absolutely amazing experience. Like stuff like this, like watching these people and then like actually being kind of like have a grasp or like have a touch on the fitness industry is kind of weird. Like I basically got to experience what like the fitness industry is like for real, like what the people are like for real. And from my experience, the people in real life, like I've got to meet a lot of people in the past few weeks. Everyone is so dead on and so much nicer than I thought. Like I ha I've had my opinions and all of them have been absolutely just scratched off. And man, it's been a crazy few days. And thank you. I actually got a lot of messages about people using the bulk code. I just literated the syrup in the past like, few weeks. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these supplements. I actually don't know because surprise, surprise, I'm gonna have to go to Latvia for like two or three weeks because because I need to visit family and there's also, I don't know if you know, it's called Lego. It's like a huge summer celebration. I've really wanted to make a video out of that for the longest time. Even when I was a kid, I was like, how cool would this make of a vlog? It's basically everyone going on this set for like a weekend. It's like celebrating the start of summer. And I was like, there's a lot of videos that I still have to make in Latvia and also our mate, Carl, you know, it's just his place. He's leaving too and he's only coming back later on so i was like you know what we'll just save a bit of cash and dip out of here for a while so thank you for anyone that watches and for real like let's get real like there's nobody in the house like i just want to get real for like two seconds like for real for real i've been very very nervous about dropping out college dropout like it's been causing me a tremendous amount of stress behind the scenes i don't talk about my, my emotions as much as maybe i used to or i feel like when i recorded like if any of you remember american dream i would really like get in depth about talking about my emotions and like how i'm feeling in the moment and right now I'm feeling very very positive because it's really nice gaining friends like Carl and other people that are like they're in the industry but they're trying they're really trying to like climb up and try and make this a living like obviously there's people like Mike and Rob who are like established members of the fitness industry they make a living from this they live comfortably they live a really amazing lifestyle but people like me it's like I'm kind of seeing what happens day by day and just trying to make it happen I'm trying to make it I'm like a micro influencer I'm not shit compared to these people but it's nice seeing that they exist and they can actually make shit happen you know I hope that made sense it gives me comfort being around people who've already made it because it reassures me that everything's okay and just give this time and put in the work so that's what I wanted to say and I'm not stopping anytime soon and I want to fucking size of this thing and I'm meant to go out this weekend and I have a big fucking fat pimple on my head before I leave anyway I think it's like the 16th 
no clickbait shit. I'm not gonna, oh my god, I got kicked out, oh no. Like, I'm not gonna do no clickbait shit. I'm just gonna, like, you know, leave for a while and come back for the summer. It's a nice little trip away to Latvia. It'll be nice some relaxed time. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna talk about my past a lot when I'm in Latvia. I'm gonna document where I'm from. I'm gonna show you my shitty apartment that I lived in with my ma. That had, like, six other people living in that building. We had to share a fucking toilet. Like, there's a heroin addict across the road from us. I used to live a very, very, very poverty life. And I want to let you in. Like, because you are my friends. And I've realized that the more I let you guys in, the more of a bond I have with you guys. Like, you're like family level. The people that I've met in the past few days that have watched my shit are DMs. Really changing my relationship with the fucking camera and with you guys. This is a fucking tribe. This is some real shit. Anyway, guys, peace out. Stay weird. Merch drop coming soon, cool shit coming soon, cooler than this. It just constantly up in the blog level, so peace out, people. Goal here is to get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the summer. College dropout, I'm dropped out, I'm fucking homeless now, I got no money. Maybe subscribe to the Patreon and I could finally get myself a pizza. I have not.